Hello, Adam at Flash Building here. And in this Adobe After Effects tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create electric stream. You can work right with me. Right along with me, man. Just open up your Adobe After Effects. I have mine open. We can come together, work together. You can just follow everything that I do because I'm the master. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, you can work right alongside with me and I'll show you how to make these effects. It's very simple. It's using custom lines that we create with the pen tool. We're using the wave warp effect, uh, any kind of wave you want, sine wave, square wave, triangular wave, and we're also using the wiggle, line wiggle, whatever you call that stupid thing, and we're making the line shaped any way we need it, and then we're animating it. <laughs> it's pretty cool, and we can work together, like side by side, and actually I'm going to take off my pants and my underpants, and I'm going to work like that, and you can work like that too if you want. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing we do is create new composition. So we go to composition, new composition. And in the settings here, you can tweak these any way you like. See it's set to 15 duration. I'm going to change that to be only about 5 seconds. Let's put 0, 05. Okay. It's 640 by 360. That's nice. Okay, so in the composition window here, in the view pane I have a 100% perspective I can change that to 50% 400 all that good stuff or you can just scroll put your mouse in there and scroll and it changes that alright so let's file import file from the desktop electric stream logo now the electric stream logo is here in the project panel this project panel is where all of your project files reside. Drag it out to the composition window and there it is. Now you can take your pen tool right when you start to draw in the composition window it will create a new layer for that shape. So let's click down, let's click here, let's click down here, and then let's click somewhere around over here and then hold it down and then move it while you're holding it down drag it to get the shape you want <clears throat> now we have a line with the stroke one pixel solid uh, right now so let's go to the shape layer here let's lock the electric stream layer and here's where you have your your layering and also your your timelines right here and if you want don't want it to be five seconds you can just grab this timeline marker at the end let's say we just want it to be three seconds let's put it right there okay so now to get this thing animated all we have to do is add a few effects and we won't be manually tweening the effects will have the animation themselves so let's go to first thing is let's go and open by hitting this little arrow button let's open this shapes uh, attributes and hit add and go to wiggle paths now you can see what it did it made the line a little bit wiggly so now let's go into wiggle paths to edit these options here inside of wiggle paths let's edit the detail let's bring that up a little Maybe about 30. The size 22 looks good. And maybe about 14. Not even. Yeah, 15. That looks good. Now let's bring the wiggles per second down to zero. Now when we do that, now it won't animate. Basically, all we've done is distorted the line to look jagged and kind of electrical so now let's go ahead and close that up and we're gonna go to effects let's click that layer now we can't click the logo because it's locked so that's good so let's go to effect and first thing we'll do is add a glow so let's go to stylize glow then go to effect 
distort and actually let's go ahead to stylize again and roughen edges bring the border down to maybe that 1.6 looks good and then you can tweak these settings out as much as you like offset the turbulence see what that does you can offset the position of your turbulence there and then let's bring that up a little more right there complexity you can bring that way up or way down I'm going to leave it right about 7 that looks good for that now last thing we need is so we have a glow effect and a rough and edges so if we go up to the top here let's close the glow effect so here's the two effects that are on this line this shape layer shape layer one okay so if we go down to the timeline we highlight this comp one panel right here make sure it's got the orange border around it you can see when different panels are highlighted by the orange border and down here we just hit the space bar and it'll make the playhead go and you can see nothing's animated yet so after we get the line looking like we want by using the wiggle paths and roughen edges then we want to add something that will animate it and bring it to life so let's go to effect distort and here we add the wave warp and once you add the wave warp that's when it gives it its animation I'm gonna amp up the speed on the wave warp to about maybe three and then let's get the wave height down to maybe I don't know four and the wave width let's bring that closer so and this is using a sine wave and there's a whole bunch of different types you can try and that looks good to me so let's uh... we're gonna whip 22 let's see what that looks like if we press play if you want to get the animation or the playhead tools here you can go to effects and that will give you the time controls there just press play and it will start rendering it out and when it renders out it'll be a little slow but after the rendering gets done and it renders in all these frames then it plays quick like normal see you can really tweak out that this direction you can change the direction to make it the points and the way it streams change let's get these closer together and then you can change you can also change the, sh the stroke it makes a dramatic difference that's a stroke of two pixels you can change it let's get the right color here now let's bring it back to maybe let's see how that looks so there you see it's a very simple way to use kind of like oscilloscope waves sine waves you can change this let's try the square this should look pretty cool I almost like this better it doesn't jump as much it just kind of streams like electricity through there it's flowing from one side to the other so there's a whole bunch of different ways you can tweak this out and you guys that are more artistic than I am can really go crazy with all the different effects and all the different wave types you got here and all the different stuff you can add there's a million different effects and presets in After Effects that you can play with but that's just one way to do it and if you guys want to see any more of After Effects from me, just let me know in the comment area. Now, when once you're done with this, you can go to File, Export, render it out as a Flash SWF.
use it as your logo in your flash file because as you know SWFs can be imported straight into flash and used right there on the stage okie dokie see you next time